Good morning, class. I'm sorry I'm not able to be with you this Saturday, but today I am coming to you live. Today I'd like to talk about preaching methods that Jesus used that hopefully will be helpful for you. And I'm going to go through six points. And this is only going to be maybe five, ten minutes today. And then from here, I would like for you to kind of proceed to the chapel so that you will do your practicum when it comes to preaching. Today I want to talk about the first point that Jesus used. He always told stories. He was an excellent storyteller. Now remember, in the Catholic Church, we only have maybe seven to ten minutes to do this thing. How are you going to become a good storyteller? And so what do we kind of focus in on? Of course, the gospel. We may kind of bring in the Old Testament and maybe sometimes the second reading or maybe even the rep responsorial psalm. So Jesus was what we call an excellent storyteller. And this is what we're trying to do in terms of you becoming a good preacher, meaning that you become a good storyteller. How do you tell the story? The other point is, Jesus at times, he kind of shocked the people. And that's why he got in trouble sometimes. Because he didn't sugarcoat it, he shocked them. Now I'm not telling you to kind of shock the people, but I, I want you to leave them with something that say, hmm, I never thought about that before. The other point is, Jesus crafted what we call wonderful sayings. And so when you, when you think about it, he would, he would kind of use sayings that you could remember. Now, he often used catchy sayings and he played on words something to think about. For an example, Jesus would say, judge not and you will not be judged. Condemn not and you will not be condemned. Forgive and you are forgiven. Give and it will be given to you. That's in Luke chapter 6, 37 and 38. These are kind of catchy kind of phrases that people can walk away with and kind of remember. The next point is, Jesus sometimes asked questions. Something to kind of think about when you're preaching. You want to maybe leave the folks with a, a question or two. Not a lot of questions. Maybe just a couple questions. Number five, Jesus used what we call a moment in which he would use it as an objective or an object lesson. What does that mean? Jesus often used what we call lessons to communicate to his audience. He washed the feet of his disciples to teach them what it means to be a servant in a leadership position. He called a little child over to discuss with the adults that your faith got to be like a child, not childish, but childlike. So he used moments to say this is going to be a teachable moment and I want you to walk away with a lesson from this. Like the woman who had two copper coins. He called the disciples over and he says, you know what? Look at the church. It was full on Sunday and everybody gave from their surplus wealth. But this poor widow only had two copper coins. He used it as a moment, a teachable moment to talk about what? The kingdom of God. Now, last but not least, Sometimes Jesus was repetitious in terms he would repeat himself to kind of get across his point. And so sometimes in your theme, you may want to repeat that. Some great preachers will go back to a theme throughout their sermon to emphasize their point. Jesus did that. And so don't be afraid if you come up with your theme. Maybe you want to use that theme throughout your uh, your sermon to get, make your point. These are what we call the six lessons of good preaching methods that you want to think about, and we will talk about them again when I see you next class. Take care, and God bless.